thing we learned in the animal industry over 100 years ago, that to maximize the longevity, uh, maximize the genetic potential for production of milk and meat and eggs, uh, to maximize health, we had to eliminate disease because we don't have health insurance for animals. If we used a human healthcare system uh, for animals, it'd be a sticker shock for most people. A dozen eggs would be 250 bucks, and a pound of hamburger would be $700 just to pay for the health care. So we learned a long time ago in the animal industry that we could prevent birth defects, we could prevent infertility, we could maximize longevity and health and fending off disease by giving all the known essential nutrients to the animal based on body weight. And we learned 100 years ago that there are 16 minerals required, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 3 fatty acids, and that's the, the 90. And you cannot depend on it from being in your food because nutritional minerals, which make up two-thirds of the 90 essential nutrients, 60 out of the 90 are minerals, do not occur in a uniform blank around the crust of the earth. They occur in veins like chocolate and chocolate apple ice cream. And some places have 10, some places have 15, some places have 20, some places have 40. Plants only need three to maximize um, their benefit and make good seeds for the next generation. Human beings and all other vertebrates, whether you're a hummingbird or a crocodile or an elephant, require 60 minerals. And so the only way you can guarantee that and actually prevent an enormous amount of unnecessary misery and cost is to consciously supplement with all 90 essential nutrients. It just seems so simple. You just guarantee it and whatever you get from your food is a benefit added is an add-on but you can't depend what is or is not in the food and we've learned that in the animal industry and why not treat humans as well as we do animals.